Mind your emotions. Have you ever wonder about your emotions or feelings? Why do we have it? Where does it coming from? Is it ours? Why do we like certain music? What makes us tick? What turns us off? If we know more about the science of emotions we could get to know ourselves much better. Please do not confuse with EQ. EQ is an intelligence based on knowing the emotion of other people, thus directing us how to behave socially. What about our emotions? Do we know who we are? Are we beings made out of emotions? Emotions can be a curse if we allow our emotions to control us. Do we control emotions or do emotions control us? It is said there are two gifts that are given to us when we are born as a human on this planet. These are emotions and free will. The question is how do we deal with these gifts? Do we appreciate these gifts? Do we know how to utilize them to the fullest for our benefits? If we know how powerful these gifts are, we will appreciate our life more than ever before and really start to live our life to the fullest. Ever wonder why the cabal loves to control religions, education and the media? They know how to utilize our emotions and free will through these outlets to create the world according to their image. It is unfortunate that we live in a world full of sufferings, as it is often stated in Buddhism. Buddha stated the cause of suffering stem from being born, old age, illnesses and death. All living beings must go through these stages of sufferings and the only thing that follow us after death is our karma. Nevertheless, Buddha teaches us to face the reality in life, but we can still achieve happiness within sufferings. It is like the beauty and fragrance of a lotus flower that cannot be overwhelmed by mud. As the lion turtle in the last airbender quotes, the true mind can weather all lies and illusions without being lost. The true heart can touch the poison of hatred without being harmed. From beginningless time, darkness thrives in the void, but always yields to purifying light. Why do people get ill? Why can't we live in abundance? Why do people grow old? Why do people have to die? Why do we have to suffer on this planet? Most people will just accept these things as they are, but never consider how to improve their life. The only improvements they know is going through the social structure within the boundaries of the matrix. There are many reasons why people get sick, such as catching a virus, wrong diet, having an accident, etc. When you are in pain your body is trying to communicate with you that you are doing something wrong. It could be something you ate or over-exercising your body, but it could also be something created through your thoughts and emotions. When you are at stress you feel pain on your shoulder. When you are worried or in fear your immune system get weakened, then you easily catch a cold. Tumor and cancers are created from negative thoughts and emotions, such as anger and hatred. It is maybe hard to cure, but you need to reverse it with love emotions by forgiving those who have hurt you. Buddha said, when you hate someone it is like picking up a hot charcoal and trying to throw at someone you hate. The first person who get hurt is yourself. Imagine, when you are angry at someone don't you feel hurt within yourself first. When you are in pain try to get some good sleep. When you sleep your body and mind will regenerate. Being poor is what the matrix wants to make us believe that there are scarcity on this planet. But is it true? It all depends on how big is our desire. Plus the fact of how our lifestyles are being shaped by the matrix, such as go to school to have a degree, work for a living, leisure time, etc. Old age and death is a concept that we cannot avoid in life. Yet, many people strive to stay young and live as long as possible. Suffering is a creation from our mind and we feel it through our emotions. We can learn to accept life as it is. Growing old is natural and you can only gain wisdom through your experience. Dying is being born again in a new form. It is a matter of perception. You can choose your state of being and find rational solutions in the matrix. Only this time you can use your emotions for your benefits. Find balance by walking the middle way, this means you do not entirely reject the matrix, but utilize the matrix for your spiritual growth. Buddha said once, with our thoughts we create the world. Can you imagine that you can create the world you want? It is hard to believe, but you already create the world through your emotions and mind, but it is not according to your desire. It is according to indoctrination of the matrix, such as the education system, organized religions, multinationals, media, financial system etc. We are being manipulated to create a world that only benefit the few and enslaving the many. Our social structure and media that are manipulated by the matrix feed us with negative emotions, such as anger, hate, jealousy, feeling numb, fear, sadness, etc. These emotions make us feel sick, get old faster and keeping us poor. Emotions are like magnets. You are what you attract. It is like a frequency match. If you reverse your emotions with positive feelings, such as, happiness, joy, kindness, compassion and most important of all is love. You can cure your illnesses, feel lucky and attract abundance. Love is the most powerful and strongest emotion of all. Love heal hatred. This is what all religions teach us. Please do not confuse religions with organizations. Anything that is organized can be corrupt. We are talking about the core of religions and not about the rituals and rules. The core of religions is how we can live in love. You can put your intention for higher frequencies according to your liking with your thoughts and emotions. 
How can you achieve positive emotions and not controlling or suppressing them? You can do this by being aware of your emotions. It can be done through meditation or by simply being aware of your breathing. A Zen Dharma master from India once taught Shailin disciples in China the breathing technique in Zen meditation and mastering Kung Fu. Kung Fu is not only martial art, it's learning the basic of life through breathing technique. Kung means within and Fu is power. It is finding the power within your breathing. Buddha once asked his disciples, what is the span of life? In which the first disciple response, the span of life is within a day. The second replied, it is within a meal. Then the third replied, it is within our breath. If you stop breathing you stop living. Being in the moment is a state of bliss. Make every breath count. Do this on daily practice and you can see the results. Please do not force yourself to feel love for someone you hate. Just being aware that you feel hate towards a person. When you have negative emotions, just being aware that you have it. Try to focus on the person or animal companion that you love. Tell them daily that you love them. If love is not mutual please do not stalk or chase. This is lust of the flesh and it is plain creepy. Be grateful when you wake up in a brand new day. Smile when you see people, especially those who have been doing long hours. Enjoy and appreciate small things in life, such as listening to the sound of rain, watch the sun shine, listening to birds, etc. Undo whatever the matrix have been manipulating us to do. Turn off your television and don't watch the news on daily basis. Just knowing that are certain things are happening in the world, but do not focus too much on them. Go against the current and you are a free spirit. It is a lifetime practice and it won't cost you money or a large amount of time to meditate. Be aware of your emotions, mind, and the small things around you. This is your god power. Your god power is more powerful than any Marvel heroes or villain. You can exterminate evil with your thoughts and emotions. You can make big changes with small actions. God wants us to be happy. Now close your eyes and be aware of your breathing.